A new major computer virus has spread throughout the world. This virus is similar to WannaCry in which the virus would take control of the computer and demand ransom. In this case, however, it doesn't seem to be making those same demands. The complete disruption of business instead has been the result. This has affected computers and businesses all over the world, including Russia and even the Chernobyl radiation system. This virus has been viewed by NATO as the reason to call to arms, to begin a military war against the perpetrators, as this is a direct assault on these affected countries. The question I have is, who are those doing these cyber attacks? Will they stand up and admit it? How do we really know if this isn't just another excuse for a war, a false flag event? Yet more people dying every day in needless war, crimes committed to innocent lives, all to fill the pockets of the globalists. The grand scheme may continue to expand. Cyber war is real, let's be clear. Even Edward Snowden has talked about governments hacking each other. He stated that all go governments hack other governments regularly. So it's certainly possible that this was a state-sponsored event, but we really don't know. How will we ever know what the truth is if we are sold so much propaganda? Hegelian dialectic. This is problem, reaction, solution. We have a problem that is cyber attacks. The public is upset. Businesses are upset. Governments in turn respond. They can attack back and or they can clamp down on domestic activities. This is what worries me to a great degree. The governments could use this as an excuse to limit our use of the internet, to destroy our freedom that we currently have on it. We used to be able to speak freely, but at this time it has gone on, we have been put into these digital free speech zones. Any cyber attack, whether organic or contrived, could be used to pass new laws which limit our personal freedoms. How to protect yourself. As for cryptocurrencies and government fiat, we need to protect ourselves. Any currency which is held at an institution could be eliminated instantly. Hackers could steal it. Banks may call for a bank holiday. Currency could be devalued overnight and ATMs may not let you extract your money. Crypto exchanges can be hacked into. It happened to me. Keep your money offline. The banks aren't safe. The exchanges aren't safe. Don't take any risk. Something like a Trezor might be good for you if you have some savings in cryptocurrencies. For those with savings in cash in the bank, you should only be holding on to what you believe is needed for your daily expenses. I would like to know what you think about cyber attacks and the potential for loss. Take care.